Hi everyone. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to design a flyer like this. The first thing to do, I'm going to new under the file menu, then select. So, what I'm going to use in this tutorial is six by six inches. Inches. Then my resolution is 300 then i'm going to grate it now what i'm going to do i'm going to this color picker then to grate a gradient color then when the dollar box come out i'm going to select here then select the color then i have my color code which is this fdbe14 i'm going to copy it then paste it here ctrl v then you will see it like this i'm going to select ok then i'm also going to here i'll click here then select the color then go to my color code i'm going to copy this one then and paste it here then i will have something like this okay then apply okay then under this place i'm still going back again then i'm going to select this one so that the color will now come out the opacity should be 100% like this then okay I'm coming to the color style and select radial color then it will come out like this and I'm going to select okay but before then I want to increase this side the color of this side to somewhere like this then okay then the next thing to do is to type the name of what I'm going to use. then i've already typed down the name i'm going to use i will copy it then i'm going to select the font i'm going to use in this tutorial so i'm going to drop the link in the description for you if you are going to use it then the name of the font is Adlinaka. Bold. Then I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to increase it. Then move it here somewhere here like this then I'm going to also duplicate it by ctrl J or command J then I will move this one up a little bit then the first one I'm going to apply another color then I'm going to pick a color from here. Then I'll bring it down. Then to apply that shadow over there. You can see the shadow, something like this. Then I'm going to click OK. So this is the color code. This is the color code. Then OK. Now 
I'm going to bring what I'm going to use as a logo. This is what I'm going to use as a logo. So you can use your own logo. Something like this. Then I'm going to apply a shadow to that logo so that it will pop pop up. Then my shadow like this. Then the size of my of my the size of my shadow is seven. Then the spread six at the distance five. Then I'm going to apply OK. Now I'm going to rasterize it. Rasterize. Then I'm going to select my quick selection tool. Then I click select object. Now I'm going to click on the layer mask. Then to remove the background. Now what I'm going to do now. Then in this is to go to my blending mode then i'm going to select soft light okay soft light then i'm going to reduce this to reduce it then i reduce it to 13 i think 13 is okay for me then the next thing again is to bring this one then again now what i'm going to do applying layer mask then go to my gradient tools select make sure your own is like this All right now i'm going to drag drag to fade to fade in the background now that we have done it like this then I'm going to decrease it like this then move it make sure it is centralized or you press ctrl a then you come to this place then you click here so that it will be centralized so centralization is very important then ctrl d I'm going to my layer mask also select my gradient tools i'm going to fade here a little bit it's okay now the next thing to do i'm going to bring this one again into the photoshop then i'll drop it somewhere here then reduce the size going to reduce the size then 
skin. Yeah, it's okay for me. It's okay for me, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do next is to bring an over shape. Then, I'm going to click somewhere, drag it like this. Then, the black color is okay. Then, I'm going to rasterize it. Rasterize. Drop my picture. Then, go to filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. Yeah, it's okay like this then i'm going to apply okay then i will have something like this then i'll use my arrow key to bring it down a little okay now the next thing to do is to go to my rent angle i'm going to bring a rent angle then draw in like this draw it like this then i'm going to apply the color go to i think this is okay the color like this is okay then drop my selection tool i have my type in here then i'm going to bring door to door delivery now available then select my test tool i'll come to this place then the font i'm going to use in this place is lato then Lato, then Lato, then to Lato bold black, then Control V, then to paste it, then click OK. Now I'm going to reduce the size, the size. Now. I'm going to break it in two like this. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, you see, I'm going to drag this to apply specs like this. Then, before that, I'm going to select this color here, up here this color up here then okay then i will bring it down to this place then use my arrow key to arrange it now what i'm going to do again is my shape here I'm going to click on Ctrl A to make sure it is centralized. Then click on your test tool. Then click here again to make sure that it is centralized. Then you deselect it by by pressing Ctrl D. Now I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl J then drag it down then i'm going to change the color then to this color then okay so that the color will now come out then i'm going to enter my test to select my test to then control a then i'm going to pick this then i'm going to control v to paste it like this then i'm going to reduce the size of the test 
it's okay then i'm going to drop it somewhere here make sure it is centralized then i'll also control j this one then bring it down then i'm bring my last test i'm going to copy it then select this one control a then and control v to paste it then you now have something like this then before we finish the last thing i'm going to do is to go to my to my brush tool and select a brush i'm going to use this So now this is the brush i'm going to select yeah then i'm going to reduce the size of it it's too much okay now i will come down here then select it like this yeah. Control Z. Then I'm going to use white color like this. I will also go up here, click like this. Then bring another layer here. Then I'm going back again. Then to select another one. I think this is the one I'm looking for. Now, oh, I'm going to rotate it back. I'm going to rotate it back. Okay. Like this. I'm coming up here. I'll drop it. And somewhere here, I'll drop it. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reduce the opacity into 32. It's okay for me like this. Then the first one, I'm also going to reduce the opacity to 32. Then, then you apply it on it. I think it's okay so now this is how to design a flyer like this what i'm going to do next is to apply is to select them little bit of move it up like this then Want to expand it a little also want to move it up like this okay. i'm going to group this 
con 3g so group it then the logo hold your shift key then you group it then my test tool or you also group it then move it up a bit like this i think it's okay i would also like to increase this one a bit then also the test also the test Like this then you apply it I think it's okay so this is how you create a restaurant flyer like this please don't forget to subscribe hit the button and subscribe like comment and share thank you for watching